Let's look at the motif that I used in my ranunculus sweater. This motif consists of three stitches. What you have to do is put your needle after the three stitches one row below, grab the yarn, put it on the needle and knit it together with the first stitch. Okay, and again, three, you don't go here, you have to go one row back. So you are under the loop, right? Grab the yarn. It doesn't matter if you put the yarn like this or like this, but choose which way you do, which is more convenient for you and stick to it. Okay. One, two, three, not here, one below. Two, three. Not here, but not here, but one below. After knitting the round like this, the second round is in stockinette. This is what we get after knitting two rounds. Now we repeat the same motif and you can repeat exactly above it. I chose not to do it because you get quite big holes on the sides and I wanted not those holes not to be like one above another, but I wanted to make them look a bit smaller. For this reason, I didn't knit one stitch to the marker and I start repeating the same. I take three stitches, go one round lower, pull out the yarn, put on the needle and knit this loopy stitch together with the first one. Two, three. And repeat again, one round. Not here, but one round down. Let's make one more and then we can have a look at what we got. As you can see, they are now leaning. One round in stockinette. For my ranunculus, as you can see, I used three motifs, then I put two and then one. And now let's try to knit this nice round. Now let's knit this very beautiful decorative stitch. You have to knit two stitches and the first one you slip over the second one and you knit into it again. So out of two you get two. Then you knit one, slip the previous over it and knit one out of it. So that the number of stitches does not change slip and knit into it. Knit one, slip the second over the first one and knit into it. Knit one, slip over it and knit. This is what you get.
take crochet hook, go below the horizontal stitch, and you have to pull the last stitch. joining and you continue knitting some of you asked me in the previous videos how to knit the ribbing that I have in my acorn sweater as you can see it's a five stitch motif like this. So it's purl, knit, purl, and this motif consists of two stitches. It's a two round motif and it's very simple to knit. So knit, slip, knit, and now what I do here, I call sky, S-K-Y. S stands for slip, K, knit, Y, yarn over, and then you, and then you slip the first one through the rest of the stitches. And repeat again, purl, slip, Pearl, sky, slip, K, knit, yarn over. And you slip the first one over the two. Pearl, slip, pearl, S, slip, knit, yarn over. Slip, knit, yarn over. The second round, everything is knits and purls, according to the picture. And the third round is identical as the first one. Purl, slip, purl, and you do sky. S, slip. K, knit, Y, yarn over. I hope you found this video useful and learned some new motifs you can use in your knitting. If so, I'm very, very happy. Happy knitting and bye-bye.